Andrea Nahles doesn't have it easy. The SPD's general secretary is heading up her party's campaign, but it seems to be falling flat. She doesn't have to worry too much here in Berlin, though. This is home turf. In a district rathaus, a traveling exhibit spans 150 years of SPD history. Nahles looks at her party's story with pride and irony. The SPD is... The SPD is always somehow a bit irrational. When you calculate all the hours we spend sitting in pointless meetings. But it's irrational in a good sense. And I hope a big win for our country, too. During the campaign, the Social Democrats have focused on issues like justice, fair wages, better pensions and transparency issues that speak to most Germans. Yet somehow the party still trails significantly in polls. When it comes to issues, we're ahead. Still, the voters like our chancellor, but are frustrated with the government. And they still haven't made the connection between those two points. We have to make clear who exactly is responsible for the way the government works. The face of the party is Per Steinbruck, the SPD candidate for chancellor. He's supposed to take his message directly to the voters, whether it's over coffee or special edition stamps. Steinbruck is keen to be the next chancellor, but he's not exactly winning hearts and minds. Taking part in theater stunts, like this one, where he lies in a tub full of plastic balls, hasn't helped. On values, I pulled ahead. Now I'm down, but it'll go up again. Steinbrück has been touring the country for weeks, hosting something the party calls Plain Language with Per Steinbrück. He says it's easy to see why the SPD isn't winning with its campaign issues. The Chancellor is appropriating their ideas and putting her own mark on them. You can say that lazy people always wait till the last minute. You have to expose what the label on the bottle says and what's actually inside. With them, what's on the bottle is often not what's inside. There's usually no content. That's the difference. A minimum wage is one of the SPD's biggest themes. Under the party's plan, all employers should pay at least eight euros fifty an hour, guaranteed. Anything else is too little, they say. The CDU is countering with a proposed wage floor. It sounds like a minimum wage, but it's not. Employers wouldn't actually be obligated to adhere to the lower limit. There's a difference between a wage floor and a legal minimum wage. It's not just the amount, but also the way it's implemented. There are still people who say if there's a wage floor, it's like a minimum wage, and that's enough. When it comes to pensions, the SPD wants to institute a solidarity system, whereby every person who has reached pensionable age gets at least 850 euros a month. The CDU, on the other hand, wants a merit-based system that would boost monthly income for struggling pensioners who have paid into the system for years. But it's not clear how much help they get. It's a tactic to take issues, reformulate them and own them. That way you end up demobilizing some of the SPD's supporters. It's a strategy the SPD hasn't really been able to answer yet. Andrea Nahles has her own approach. She believes if voters aren't able to see the clear difference between her party and the conservatives, she'll have to explain it to them personally. We're planning to go door to door to millions of homes to talk directly with citizens. We can still mobilize the vote, and that's what we're going to do. Less than six months remain until the elections, still time for the SPD to win over as many voters as they can.